Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Blue Marble Science. Why can't I see the moon? Uh, because you're looking at the sun? Oh boy. Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out those oven mitts, push the monitors back out of punching range, and let's light ourselves a dandy dumpster fire and have some fun. These two escapees from a bull riding competition have gone above and beyond the call of duty in publishing some absolutely great flat earth derp. This is SC Montreal on the left and Flatzoid on the right. They could almost be brothers, couldn't they? Well, anyway, the other day SC Montreal attempted to make a video of the new moon using his P900 Nikon with a solar filter on it. Oh boy. And Flatzoid decided to mirror that video. Now, I think these two boys are just looking for some attention. What say we give it to them? Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Exciting times. It's 948, Sunday, August the 8th. And the new moon is two minutes away. How exciting is this? You didn't just say that. Can there be a giant rock in front of the sun and we don't see it at all? No shadow, no silhouette. You know this is how Anthony Riley lost a thousand dollar bet, don't you? I mean, you know that we don't have an eclipse every month, right? I mean, you know, never mind, just keep going. I'll let the listeners decide on that one. You just don't get it, do you? You don't. So it's 9.49. Wow, exciting times. We're one minute away from New Moon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here it is, 9.50. New moon, ladies and gentlemen. Does anybody see anything? Any silhouette? Any shadow? I don't. I ask you, ladies and gentlemen, where is the moon at this moment? It's supposed to be in front of that huge sun. Does anybody see it? No, the moon shouldn't be in front of the sun, S.E. That's called a solar eclipse, and we only have a couple of those a year normally. This year there are two. One already happened in June, the other doesn't happen until December. But there are a couple of other reasons why you're not seeing the moon. First of all, you're trying to take a picture of a new moon with a camera with a solar filter on it. You would stand a much better chance getting angels to fly out of your backside then you will getting a picture of the moon that way but there's a bigger problem here we are set up in Montreal on the 8th day of August 2021 at 9 51 a.m. you can see the Sun and you see the moon but it's really hard to see the moon. It's really faint. So let's just put a white dot right there. 
Now we know where the moon is and we know where the sun is. Let's see what you were taking a picture of. Uh oh. I don't think the moon is anywhere near your field of view in this part of the video, SE. Now I know you're going to say I'm just being picky, but there's a rule in photography and it's really simple. To make a picture of something, you actually have to point the camera at it. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. Warning! Warning! Bullshit alert! Yep, it's now and... It is now 9.52, ladies and gentlemen. The moon is supposed to be directly in front of this beautiful sun of ours. Does anybody see it? And it is now 9.53. Still, no signs of this huge, giant, so-called rock that's supposed to be in front of this huge, so-called gas giant. I don't see it. Maybe if you move this thing out of the way, it'd be easier to see. So, at this time, I'm prepared to say your explanation of the new moon is completely bogus. So let me get this straight, SC. You've managed to prove to yourself that the moon is not a real object by assuming the moon was supposed to be between the Earth and the Sun when it wasn't. And then by using a P900 video camera with a solar filter on it to take a picture of the sun and the frame size was not even large enough to include the part of the sky the moon would be in. Does that pretty well sum it up? Do you see the problem, SC? Now, just to be fair, later in your video, you did actually come back in the afternoon and zoom far enough out that the moon would have been in the same frame as the sun. But again, the problem is you've got a camera with a solar filter on it and you have the moon and the sun in the same frame. The sun has one million times more illuminance than a full moon and 30 or 40 million times the illuminance of a moon that is only being lit by Earthshine. Seeing a new moon is an extremely difficult thing to do, and you certainly can't do it with the equipment you have doing it the way you're trying to do it, SE. So I'll tell you what, I think it's about time for you guys to hit the road, and while you're at it, take this fellow with you. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Don't forget to hit the buttons down there. Shout out to the patrons and PayPal's. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.